Good morning, guys. We are headed to Mexico today. We're gonna go to Porto. Porto, Porto Pinesco. Porto Pinesco. Pinesco? Pinesco. And cross the border. We live in Arizona. We live about three hours and 45 minutes from it. And I think three hours from the border. Three hours. And then like 45 minutes inland is where we're going today. And we've never done this. And so we are looking forward to crossing the border, figuring that whole process out with our van. You have to have Mexican insurance to drive over there, which I did not know that. Did you? I had no idea that that was a thing. <laughs> we're just newbies here. Absolutely, this is not my uh, favorite driving position, that's for sure. But it's beautiful. It looks like I'm raising my hand. Pick me, pick me. <laughs> it is beautiful. It just happens to be shining in my eyes. It's amazing out here in the middle of the desert how rough the road actually is and how fast everybody's driving. It's pretty insane actually. We are about two hours from the border and about two hours and maybe 45 minutes from where we're going to go. And on this trip, we have decided that we're not gonna boondock. We're not gonna try to find a free place to park because like we said, we've never been in Mexico or at least this part of Mexico before, we've never driven over the border. And for our peace of mind, we decided we're gonna stay at an RV park. So we found an RV place connected to a resort and we the only way to connect with them was through email. I think you did try to call them though. Yes, I did try and call them and the phone just rang and rang and rang, nobody answered. Okay, so we haven't talked to anybody and so we ended up emailing them let me find that email and so they replied with good morning mr mccaskey we will update your departure date because we actually i thought i put the right dates on there but i put that we were leaving on the 12th and coming back on the 7th of the same month so clearly that's not going to work but he said we will update your departure date we sorry we cannot confirm spaces those dates are busy but we will try hard to get you as close to the beach as possible so we're thinking we have a reservation, right? I hope so. That's uh, what they kind of led us to believe. Yeah, so I think what that said is they just can't confirm it, but we're good to go. <laughs> sure. So here's the great part. We only live like three and a half hours from here, right? From the place. So we're like, okay, worst, worst, worst case scenario. We can't find a place to stay at all. We come home. So that's like our plan C. Plan A is that we get to stay at this RV place. Plan B is we go to other RV spots and see if they have any availability. Well, plan C would be we go to ioverlander.com and see if we can find any free spots. And plan D would be we just come home. So those are our four options for this trip. And we're hoping for plan A. Yes, plan A is the best option. Potholes, potholes. We're in the town of Y and we're stopping for gas. How much was it? Only $36 for nine gallons. So it was like $3.79 a gallon, which isn't too bad considering we're literally in the middle of nowhere.
Continue straight onto North Ajo Sonoida Highway, Arizona 85 South. Okay, we're about to cross, so we'll see how this goes, because once we go over this, there's no turning back. Good morning. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Well, that was easy? That was easy. Okay, the stressful part for me is almost over. <laughs> that was actually a little more stressful for me than, than I thought it was going to be, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. But it was fine. There was no issues. We just no drove issues. basically right through it. He just needed to open the side the side door and look and see, make sure I probably we didn't have people in here. I would assume. Or something, that's right? So he just looked at the bed and then said, okay. And then we're done. We're in Mexico. And there's cops everywhere. I wish I knew what the speed limit was. Yeah, we need to know the speed limit because there are cops everywhere. Turn left. Stop signs are at eye level hidden on the side of the road. And so you don't actually see them very well. You have to be looking for them and paying very close attention in order to see them. So it's kind of concerning because you don't obviously want to run a stop sign here, but you can't even see them. stress than I Let on. realized. <laughs> but what parts were stressful? I think the stop signs, the craziness of people just like walking up to you and wanting to like clean your windshields and exit the roundabout and just not knowing where I'm going. Testing. So you know if I drove down here a couple of times I'd be like all right but so you're a little nervous. Clearly this is in two hundred meters your destination will be on the left. All right, well, we got a spot at the, we ended up changing which RV place we were gonna go to. We picked the one that, according to the internet, has the better beach, Sandy Beach. And so we got an RV spot, C87. It's not on the beach, which is unfortunate, but all the beach spots are taken up, but that's fine. For our first time here, we just need to get a lay of the land. We just need to kind of, um, Use this as a scouting trope so we understand everything, but I'm excited. So we got set up and well, partially set up anyway. We didn't get everything out yet. We just got our spot. We hooked up the power. We had some lunch. And so now we're out here walking by the water. Let me show you right here. So we're just taking a little cruise, getting to know the place, walking around. I have to say, it's kind of crazy here. We were walking through the RV park and there are some people who clearly are living here. They have got like bricks stacked up around the bottom of their like fifth wheel. And 
Some of them have like these uh, like porches built where the parking spot is for the vehicle. It's actually quite surprising like how like moved in they are. I mean, this is a more than just a way of life. This is where they live. So anyway, it's actually really cool out here. Let's see if I can show you. See, there's the RV park up there. having okay, issues <laughs> okay so this is how our day is going i'm just i don't know what's the what's the word i'm looking for here you're just one of the i'm the statue of liberty here <laughs> i'm just holding up the tent we've realized that this is a great tent but you absolutely need four poles yeah and is it called a tent it's a sunshade technically but yeah it's very nice. I like the color. I like the functionality. It's just, we're two poles short of a good time. The thought process was we'd come on the beach, we'd relax, we would just kind of decompress. It doesn't feel like it's been the whole way. Nope, I have no blood in my arm. So here, let, let's show them what it looks like when, we, when I don't hold it up. Okay. <laughs> here, let, let me show my view. Here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is my view of the beach when I don't hold up the arm or when I don't hold my arm up, this is my view. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, it's a good thing I wore deodorant today. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to go with a plan B. What's our plan B? <laughs> I don't know if we have a plan B, but we'll make one up. We're going to make up a plan B. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> we gave up on that sunshade. We ordered two more of those bars. What are we Poles. calling them? Poles. Yep. Um, for next time. But we just gave up on it, put it back in the van, and decided to walk along the beach. So plan B it is, walking down the beach. We would love to find a place that has guacamole. We have been striking out the <laughs> story of our life. Yeah. We've already went to a couple of these hotels. Well, the restaurant was closed in one of them and it is 2 p.m. So that could be why. And then the bar area only really had drinks. So we're continuing on our journey to find guacamole. Will we find guacamole or not? Definitely, I think we will. It's just a matter of time. And <laughs> we'll, how far are we willing to walk? Exactly. Or will we find guacamole without having to drive? Because we both agree we don't want to drive. That's very true. I, we drove enough today. We need to take a break. We think we found a place to eat, or at least get our guacamole. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. What degrees do you think it is? I bet you it's pushing 90. It's hot here. I don't think I was expecting that, which is dumb. 85. 85 here. Feels, mm -hmm. feels warmer than 85. Anyway, so we did find a place that sells guacamole. It looks like it's $5.50, which is a steal, so. I'm excited. Looks good. So we got our guacamole. First bite. Wow. That's amazing. I would say that gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The guacamole was amazing. The pico was amazing. The 10 out of 10 from us. Now we're walking back to the van. We have decided 
to go relax, kind of wash our, wash up a bit, relax. We're gonna try to make a calzone. I got this cool new like oven that you use on your stove top. It's, I don't know, never tried it. I've read lots of good reviews. So we'll see how it turns out. Yeah, we're gonna, and by we, we mean him. Me. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to make this cool dinner. And then I am gonna try and get the Suns game on our iPad. I'm a huge basketball fan. But in between all of that, we're gonna come back down to the beach for sunset. So that's our plan. Guys, some people are definitely not here for just the weekend. No, there is some longevity happening here. All right. Flipping around. Let me let me show you what I'm talking about. It's one way or the other. No way in between. Hola. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Bob's planning on cooking us a really good one. Otherwise, we would take advantage of that breakfast. I'm sure it's amazing. You get laundry, you get showers, you get a bathroom, all for 25 a night. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Okay, so we're about 15 minutes past low tide, so pretty much low tide. And it's amazing how low it actually is out. So when we got here, this morning, we were actually standing on the water's edge. So, and it's like- What do you mean standing on the water's edge? Right here? So this would have been right where the water was oh. like at this okay. morning, but it's way out there now. We stay indoors While the lovers run the streets found this cool gadget online. It's a stovetop oven. I'm not exactly sure how to say the brand, but there it is. And never used it before, but I'm gonna give it a try tonight and make a calzone. Let's uh, let's give this a try. 
uncharted territory here. We, so it has this, uh, I don't know, heat shield. We'll put that down first. Oh, you know what? What? I need to check to make sure the propane's on. Well, some problems with the stove again. So we'll hopefully try not to blow us up. It's what? I, it, it was blowing the match flame away from it. So it's like it's. <gasps> okay. Praise. Okay, what was the problem? Well, I think what happens is when you turn off the the gas valve, like I did for a long time, I, I'm assuming the gas vents out. So then when you go to relight it, you have to wait a really long time for that gas to flow all the way back with that valve on. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming. So then what we do is we take this, basically set it there. That's like a heat shield. And then we'll put this towards the back. And, and we'll and voila. bake it and see what happens. <laughs> Hillary, what are you doing? I am watching my sons play basketball. I'm so excited that I was able to get the game over here. Go Suns. So you're watching the Phoenix Suns, not our boys. <laughs> Phoenix Suns, number one team. I never like to miss a game. So while Bob is cooking us a, an amazing dinner, I'll just be checking in with the basketball game. All right, so uh, 10 minutes in, we're looking pretty good. So put the lid back on and we'll give it 10 more. It's amazing. It is amazing. Good job, Bob. Way to go. An amazing meal once again. What do you think? It's not bad. It's actually quite tasty. Best calzone I've ever made. <laughs> Might also be the first one, but it's still the best. All right, guys. So we are tired. We just had an amazing dinner, thanks to Bob. And we are ready to go to bed, but really actually finished watching the Suns game. Um, it's been an amazing day. Lots of stress. Was a little stressful driving down here, crossing the border. I think you're burned, Bob. You look like you have raccoon eyes. I, I know. I. It's so rare for me to get sunburned too. Yeah, I think you got burned I had today. I on all day. <laughs> but wow. we were in the sun a lot. We definitely spent some time outside Yeah, we today. walked we a ton. Probably walked a good four or five miles. Yeah, we did. We walked a ton, but I think that's it for this video. We are going to go ahead and sign off um, and go, like I said, go to bed, watch the Suns game, but subscribe if you want to see part two, because that is coming. We have so many fun things for tomorrow uh, for day two of being in Porto Panasco, Panesco, Panesco, Mexico. It's been fun. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.